had, I mean, thousands of testimonials, um, not only with, as I said, with sexual function, and I'll tell you some other stories with women trying to get pregnant and periods and all, all of these things, but also too with, um, especially women who've just had, you know, cancer and who can't take hormone. It has just a wide range of, of, of benefits to so many different women that women, we can all use it and feel better about it. Hey, midlifers, welcome to the Midlife Makeover Show. Are you ready to break free from your mundane midlife? Are you feeling trapped in a vicious cycle of rinse and repeat days? No matter if you're experiencing a divorce hangover, job burnout, or you just have the midlife blues, I got you. Hey, I'm Wendy, your hostess of the Midlife Mostess. I too was hit by midlife like a freight train. I too felt stuck in the same dull chapter. I wanted the clarity of how to create a new life beyond divorce and the courage to leave an unfulfilling career. But I kept telling myself that I wasn't worthy and it was just easier to stay in my comfort zone until I found a little secret, the freedom to live my life my way. In this podcast, you will learn how to achieve a vibrant midlife mind and body, how to create solid relationships through love and loss, and how to create an awesome second half of life. Grab your grande latte, pop in your earbuds, and let's get this midlife party started. Hi, I'm Wendy Valentine, host of the Midlife Makeover Show. Today, I want to share something personal with you. At 45, my world turned upside down. I was going through a divorce, battling depression, grieving the loss of my brother, and dealing with chronic illness. But I want to tell you about a turning point in my journey, therapy. Speaking to a therapist was a lifeline for me. It was a safe space where I could express my pain and start to find my way back to joy and hope. That's why I'm thrilled to introduce today's sponsor, BetterHelp, the world's largest therapy service. BetterHelp offers professional licensed therapists who are available online at your convenience. You can message your therapist anytime or schedule live sessions via video, phone, or chat. I believe in the power of therapy because it helped me navigate the toughest times of my life. If you're going through a tough time or just need someone to talk to, I encourage you to try BetterHelp. As a listener of the Midlife Makeover Show, you can get 10% off your first month by visiting betterhelp.com forward slash midlife or choose the Midlife Makeover Show during sign up. Welcome to another episode of the Midlife Makeover Show, where we explore the journey of transformation and empowerment in midlife. I'm your host, Wendy Valentine, and today we have a truly remarkable guest who is revolutionizing the world of skincare and women's health. Joining us is Lana Kerr, the founder and CEO of Lumisk. Lana's innovative approach to skincare began in 2015 when she discovered a groundbreaking method to deliver excuse me, <laughs> let's see if I can talk today. <laughs> it's a mouthful to deliver. There we go. Carbon dioxide through the skin using a gel called CO2 lift. This product has been clinically proven to lift, rejuvenate, and reverse signs of aging in the skin. But Lana didn't stop there. Oh, no, no, no. She followed up with CO2 lift V, a non-invasive hormone-free gel treatment for vulva vaginal rejuvenation. Oh yeah. This painless and effective treatment addresses various issues associated with aging, childbearing, and stress such as vaginal dryness, urinary problems, and discomfort during intercourse. This is so genius. I can't wait to find out more. In today's episode, we'll dive into how you can age powerfully while keeping your mind and body sharp. Lana's primary goal is to educate women about their bodies and the treatment options available to them. With advancements in treatments and vaginal rejuvenation, Lana is committed to empowering women to reclaim their confidence in sexual health. So get ready as we unravel the secrets to aging gracefully and powerfully. I know no other way. Please welcome our gorgeous guest, Lana Kerr, to the show. Wendy, you are just so fantastic. Thank you so much for having me on your show today and for being uh, introducing me to your audience. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, that was, I, I had to get all that out. I was like, woo-wee. I've, you know, I've been uh, stocking up on all my interviews. So I have like three interviews today. So I'm like, oh, by the time I get to the third one, I'm like, what am I saying? But I was most excited about this one. 
because, oh my gosh, I mean, when you, when you look good and you feel good and when you're doing good things for yourself, oh my gosh, like, I feel like the word self-care means so much. Like it's more than what it was originally, you know, uh, named for, like, it's more than just a bubble bath. Yes. Oh, most, most definitely it is. And that's what we're, we're trying to redefine that word for women and what that should mean to them. You know, and it's not just putting on a face mask. Why not put on a, a vulva mask, a vagina mask? So we're going to kind of expand on that and show how it can really affect, you know, your, 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 your way you show up in the world as well as, you know, quality of life. Yeah. So let's, I don't know what to uh, dive into first. Let's, let's, let's talk. We'll go from face to vajayjay. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Top to bottom. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Top to bottom. So tell us more. It's called what? CO2 lift? Yes. So CO2 yeah. lift is a first gel carboxytherapy. So what mm-hmm. is carboxytherapy? Carboxytherapy is a new category in skin regeneration. It's often compared to hyperbaric oxygen treatment just because of uh, there have some similarities. One, you know, when you sit into an, a hyperbaric, it's mm-hmm. pressurized oxygen to reach into the cells. Mm-hmm. Well, CO2 lift is also bringing oxygen to the cells by introducing carbon dioxide. It's increasing blood supply. And both mechanisms of or both types of treatment trigger your uh, stem cells and growth factors. So it helps with skin regeneration. So that's kind of how it compares, but really carboxytherapy is defined as a therapeutic use of CO2 gas to regenerate the tissue because it's a very natural process, Wendy, that happens with our bodies. If we change the concentration of CO2 in our blood, the body quickly adapts to it. It's going to unload oxygen and pick up the CO2. So it's a really a very natural way to, to build the structure of the skin and heal whichever area is applied to very quickly. Yeah. So is it just for the face or can you apply it anywhere? Which I know we can apply it to the vajayjay, yeah. but. It's, it's, uh, we have, and it's used by, you know, plastic surgeons when they do all forms of body, when dermatologists, it's used mm-hmm. by gynecologists, any kind of skincare professional, it can really be applied face, neck, hands, knees, but ed- the whole body. And as I've gotten older, mm-hmm. I've known the use or the need to apply it like my stomach. I do more regular on my knees, on my thighs. So because that skin kind of gets, ch- it changes a little. So again, think of hyperbaric, but mm-hmm. top. So that's kind of what we're looking at. And we need to make it like into a bath, like a CO2 bath. <laughs> No, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, we're doing, well, we do have the tablets, which are CO2, but it's not the same type of thing. The tablet, I do yeah. a, bath, a, bath, a, a bath with it, um, you know, when I take a bath, but the carboxy, definitely, I do it on my whole body. Um, so really, really, like, you know, I mean, there's so many great products out in the world, as you know, but a lot of them, it's like, it's just for on the surface. I don't feel like, I feel like even if I stopped using it for a day, then I could tell a difference that it, okay, shoot, I got to reapply that again, right? But this is healing. It's going deep below the layers of the skin, it seems like. Yes, it is. So basically, it doesn't compete with any skincare products that you have. It Mm. only makes them work better because you see what happens is a couple things. Once we get older and circulation starts slowing down, and that starts from as early as in our 20s, it Mm. starts slow down skin turnover slows down hydration our skin gets thinner so it gets drier we yep. lose hydration it loses ability to hold water so we want to thicken that skin if we think about like maybe a baby's bottom you know it's yeah. very bouncy and just juicy full of life but that's <laughs> thick skin you know what i'm saying yeah, looks, yeah. that's what we want our bodies to look like i often compare it to a grape and a raisin. I give that analogy because I think people can visualize that. You know, what's the difference between a grape and a raisin? It's, mm. it's a raisin is nothing but a dehydrated yeah. grape. We're born this beautiful grape, plump, smooth skin, and we turn into this grape. And fortunately, there's technology available that helps to slow that process down. And you know what, too? It's like, I, and I used to be someone that would go and get facials like every single month. And I did it. I'm like, which I'm all for that. But like, it's expensive. Yes. And I couldn't, like, I can't keep up with that. So yes. to me, and then, you know, it's like, you feel like if you can do something like this, and this is something you can do at home while you're like laying in bed, watching some Netflix or whatever, right? 
it's yeah. kind of like wrapped more into the self-care, like pour a glass of wine, do whatever you got to do, you know, but, but to I'm me, that of, yeah. I, I'm more of a do it yourself kind of girl. I've always yeah. been, I mean, obviously, you know, I work with dermatologists. I'm going to go for certain things. Like they'll do procedures. Like I used to go for a Morpheus, you know, I've done, mm-hmm. or like, I do know a uh, soft wave, which I do once a year on my birthday, uh, which is something, a device that they have to do in the office, but for something like, you know, I'm more of a, I do, and I do the CO2 lift and go, I do it at least, I try to do it once a week, but every two weeks I do it. And the reason for that is because I really can't do anything more mm. because I I was um, diagnosed with vitiligo. So mm. with vitiligo, you can't use any energy on your skin or it's going to, it can trigger a lesion. And I definitely don't want it on my face. I have it on my hands. I'll have a little bit here and there in my body. So I'm trying to mm. minimize that, but yeah, so you can, this is definitely something that for rejuvenating at home, a medical grade pro- product that you can use in the privacy of your home and yeah. get results that you'd get in a doctor's office. Yeah, exactly. So you can't even use it on your hands, especially like, that's one thing I've noticed too. It's like getting older. I'm like, I see it on my hand. I'm like, why does my skin look funny around my knuckles? It's like, <laughs> yeah, Wendy, when you get it, I'm telling you. So what I'm going to do when I, when I do mine, and because when I, when you have vitiligo, you, I actually had to put, um, steroid on my hands. My fingers were getting, skin was getting thinner. I, st- I said, I have to do my hands. So what I do when I do my face, I get the extra, put it on my hands and I wear gloves, these disposable gloves. And so I, I'm on my, I'm pot- listening to a podcast or on my computer, or just, I can have my hands free and it's treating my hands. And you can definitely see the difference in my, in your hands. We've done a hand study and you can definitely see how, so it's something that, yes, you will like it anywhere. I with the hands, the neck is another area that we shouldn't mm-hmm. leave. Mm-hmm. That shows mm-hmm. age and very few things can be done for the neck. Mm-hmm. Well, you know what too, especially since COVID, so many of us are like you and I are right now on the screen and you feel like, oh my God, there's my face. There's like, you know, it's like, now it's like, we need stuff like this even more. Yes, for sure. Yeah. Sure. But yeah, it's just something, it's a new way of bringing back the structure of the skin, you know? So it's something that, you know, when we did our clinicals, what it shows is that you, six is really the magic number. If you want a skin reboot, so to speak, mm-hmm. because what, when, when you did six and you do it within a month, you're looking at increasing, well, hydration increases after the first application over 117%. Wow. And that's important. But then when you talk about those other double digit numbers, like elasticity, luminosity, the, mm-hmm. in six treatments, that's the result. So we like to encourage people to do six within the first month and then once a month after to maintain it. Ooh, Ooh I can't wait. Yes, I, I can't cannot wait. wait. I'm going on Instagram. I'm going to show y'all <laughs> how plumped up I get. I cannot wait. That is so cool. But I mean, I've even noticed, like, especially I have, I've been trying to sleep with um, an eye mask at night. But like, my thing is like, when I wake, I get these little like creases on my forehead. And it's mm-hmm. a lot of it's just dryness, mm-hmm. right? So it's like, if you have more hydration in your skin, then you don't, it's, then you're less likely to get those wrinkles and you want, you don't want them to stay. It's like, it's fine if like they show up for an hour or two in the morning and they're like, please, for the love of God, go away. You know? <laughs> exactly. You want to have smooth skin and definitely hydrated skin looks younger. It looks, it's healthier. Mm-hmm. It feels better. So I feel I think- better, you know, I mean, that's what I was saying in the beginning. And it's like, I don't know about, I mean, I would think, and I'm not like someone's like, oh, I have to look good all the time. I don't expect to, but then there is this, like, when you can look at the mirror and you just feel a little bit better about yourself, you look better, you just feel good. You're like, ah, yeah, I can show up in the world in a different way. Yes. It, it just it helps with your confidence. I yeah. totally, um, I, I think that image and how you see yourself and if you're mm-hmm. doing the thing. The, the things that are available to help you to feel and look better, take it. Why not take advantage of the technology that's around, you know? Yes. Yeah. So how did you discover then mm-hmm. like, oh, I can use this down there yeah. for even more benefit? So when I got into my late 40s, I started, well, I'll just step back a second. So one of the, I'm celebrating 27 years of marriage this year. And oh. one of the, piece of advice that my mom had given me she says how do you keep your husband feed him every day and give him sex every day and kind of that's what I did right but then when I got into my my late 30s I was thinking 
some with kids. I'm like, it felt like a chore. I was, I didn't know if I was enjoying it. I said to her mom, I don't know if I'm enjoying this, you know? And she gave me such a great piece of advice. She said to me, good sex is like playing a game of tennis. It's just a different set of balls, you know, focus on hitting the ball. Now, Wendy, what that meant for me was it changed my mindset because I saw sex before as more for Terry, like more for him. It was yep. like a to-do. It was like a performance rather than a connection for which is what I appreciated as a connection with myself, with him. It's a way to kind of cross the bridge over. So we kind of feel each other and each other's energy. And, and I actually, when I started looking at it that way, I really started enjoying my time with him better. So I was able to re recognize when I got into my mid late to late forties, a difference. So I was like, okay, what's going on? So I had the conversation with my gynecologist and what I learned about the vulva and the vagina is that aging affects it in, in these ways. So that's how you, and that's how mm. it. So one is that, you know, the vulva, which has a clitoris needs mm -hmm. blood flow to stay healthy and full. And, you know, as we get older, as from that age of 25, it starts to slow down. So if we didn't do anything about it, by the time we're in our late 40s, 50s, we'll feel a difference. Sensitivity will change, right? Mm -hmm. And then they have the other part, which is the vagina. Now, that tissue inside is very similar to tissue under the eyes. It's very thin. Okay. And so just like, you know, when we look at ourselves, our eyes show age first. Down there is thin like that. So it can get drier and more brittle. So you get loose lubrication. You don't lubricate as much and then eventually it becomes drier, which leads to painful sex. So that's the condition that we're faced with what happens with aging down there. So I was thinking, no, she recommended laser, which is there's a laser. And I thought, okay, I thought CO2 lift works very similarly in that laser is controlled damage to the tissue. Yep. to not trigger a healing response. Mm -hmm. We do this without damaging the tissue. So I went to one of our, our medical advisory board members who is a cosmetic gynecologist. And I said, what do you think about this? He says, as long as it's perfect. So we started with just a pilot study, a double blind pilot along with biopsies to see really what's happening, which we, replete, re, we replicated with a larger body of women, which was published. And then we just completed another one, double blind, same biopsies, but we added stress or bladder life control to that one. And the same conclusion, the women that use ultrasound gel showed no change in sexual function. Hmm. The women that use the CO2 lift technology showed significant change in arousal, desire, lubrication, orgasm. Wow. It's interesting, Wendy, because I'm like, why, you know, you think with the fake gel, women thought they were getting the real thing. Yeah. It didn't even, it didn't even make them, no, it didn't. That's how important blood flow is. And then when we saw the tissue biopsies, 10 treatments later, that tissue looked like they were in their 30s. Wow. So that really got me excited. And so that's kind of how. So, and usually when, when something works for me, I'm like, oh my God, this is going to help yeah. so many, you know, something you can do in the privacy of your home that you can con control. And we've had, I mean, thousands of testimonials, um, not only with, as I said, with sexual function, and I'll tell you some other stories with women trying to get pregnant and periods and all, all of these things, but also too with, um, especially women who've just had, you know, cancer and who can't take hormones. Mm. It has just a wide range of, of, wow. of benefits to so many different women that women, we can all use it and feel better about ourselves. Grab your Sharpie because it's time to set solid, permanent boundaries in your relationships and in your life. And why do you need boundaries? Boundaries tell the world where you draw the line, where you say yes, and where you say no. Studies have shown that people who have healthy boundaries have higher self-esteem, greater confidence, less burnout, a greater sense of identity, and less stress. Being clear with your boundaries means you are clear with who you are and how you live your life. To help you set clear boundaries, I created a free guidebook called the Boundary Boss Blueprint. Please go to wendyvalentine.com forward slash boundary to receive your free download so you too can be a boundary boss with less stress, higher self-esteem, and greater health and happiness. Yeah. And as you know, too, with perimenopause and menopause, you get that dryness that comes along and you're like, oh my gosh. So even if you're in the mood, your yes. vagina may not be in the mood. Yes, exactly. Right? Exactly. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. that's what, 
this is really, and I cannot wait for you to try it. It has, you know, changed the lives of so many women. And, uh, you know, I just, I'm just glad to have to be a part of it, but also to be, to know that no matter how old you get, yep. you, you can still have the quality of life. I, I was thinking too, you know, you think about just 27 years ago, there was no such thing as ED. You know, mm. you think going to a man, oh, you, your, your penis, you know, we can get it harder. You can last. The guy was, I'm good. I'm good. My penis is good. I'm getting, but now they know that there's a solution that can recognize, you know what? It could get harder. Yeah. As you get older, it doesn't stay last as long. Okay. Well, with the, we're in the same situation now, ladies, we are, this is a time there are solutions to help us to not only get lubricated, but stay lubricated for a very long time. Keep our sensitivity up here so yep. we can consistently get orgasms, which are beneficial for our own bodies mm-hmm. and, um, and, and enjoy that part of our life, but also to just feeling healthy down there. It's something that you'll feel when you, when you do this, it, it just makes you feel good. I mean, that's to me, we were talking earlier about energy, right? Yeah. <laughs> I know you guys might be surprised, but Lana said, you have amazing energy. I'm like, Energy is what's that that's the word that's used to describe me the most, right? But your energy is everything. And if you if you're giving your body that energy that it needs physically, that affects you emotionally and spiritually, everything. And I feel too like, I mean, you know, yes, sex is like one of those things that some people are like, oh my gosh, I don't really want to talk about that. I don't want to talk about my hoo-ha and (laughs) what's going on down there. But like, this is why I love this podcast because it's a safe space where you can talk about those things and listen to those things and talk to your friends about it. Right. But then when you feel good as a woman, oh my gosh, the, the, the power that you have and the changes that you can make in your life and the people around you, it's, it's like, we are amazing, amazing human beings as women. I think I mean, it's just incredible, but it's like, it's, Sometimes you need those little th- little catalysts, if you will, and and things to uh, uh, that you can apply in your daily life to just give you that boost. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and the thing yeah. about it is definitely, as you said, it's it's emotionally. I think there obviously there's a physiological function or change that's taking place. Yeah, we need to recognize. I mean, in other words, just ladies, just like we put we put sunscreen on to prevent the sun from damaging us, and more and more we're hearing how beneficial mm-hmm. that is. But the sun is a very natural thing. Why yep. have to well, protect ourselves and so, because it can damage? Well, aging, I think of it as a disease and mm-hmm. it affects all of us, mm-hmm. all of parts of our body, including that area. And in a way that, no, listen, this is something we need to, we need to mind. We need to take care of it and keep it youthful, functioning mm-hmm. optimally. And these are some of the ways to do it. Yeah. You know what I was thinking? This is silly, but <laughs> this is how I think. <laughs> Well, I mean, if you think about it, like when you're you're looking in the mirror every day, maybe several times throughout the day, you see your face. We're not always looking at our hoo ha's, right? So, like, we don't think about it. Like, what does it look like down there? Unless you're like able to. <laughs> it makes me think of remember the movie uh, Fried Green Tomatoes. Did you ever watch that? Oh my god, that was so long ago. Yes. Yeah. I really- it- that yeah. was there was that one scene where she had all of her girlfriends over and then and then she ha- it was like some therapist or something. She's like, OK, everyone, grab your mirror and go ahead and just look at look into your hoo And I was like thinking about it, I was like, well, that's interesting. But but very rarely do we look. Are we able to look at what it what it's like down there and to see that it that she, too, is also aging and that we can help her to look better and feel better. Yes. And I think to definitely the aesthetic component, mm-hmm. of, I mean, so many young women too, who are wearing yoga pants are conscious. They want it to be tucked in. This helps with that. So it's a, definitely has yeah. an aesthetic. But I think the functionality, I agree with you in terms of even looking at it. It was, I, the first time I looked at my own was like in my thirties. I mean, I, I just, yeah. I, I don't know. and now, and I was like, oh, so ugly, but um, no, I'm not because I understand. I'm like, yeah, yeah. I love it. It's be- this is beauty right here, you know. And uh, I think that if everyone, pre- every woman, and I've seen so many vulvas being in this business, I've known. Seen oh so God, many. I bet you're like, yeah. <laughs> and you know, it's just appreciating the be- the beauty in in what you have. That's mm-hmm. the key. Appre- appreciating the beauty in what you have, the fun, what is doing for you. That's where what you need to celebrate, and that's what you need to take care of. And that's what this is doing. So yes, it's aesthetic as well, 
but more importantly, the functionality and then how you make it, how it makes you feel. But when you said that about, you know, women, we are very cerebral, you know, men, they will go out into the wind and the wind will blow and they'll get an erection. You know, we don't, we, we don't, we don't operate that very few sexual cues that we have. So I think sometimes the act of taking care of it brings that sexual awareness and femininity and if confidence to that area of our life because we're taking care of it, you know? No, but I, I think too, just like you were saying earlier about like when you're in your thirties and you know, you're raising the kids and what the beauty about like when you're in your fifties and sixties, you do have more time to get, to dedicate to yourself, to your partner, right? You're not having to raise the kids anymore. So that's, then you want to feel really good down there and everywhere, right? Yeah, for sure. For sure. So that's, that's, and you want to, I think sometimes, cause I talk to so many women and, and when do you too, you have a large audience of, of women, but I mm -hmm. think that one of the things that we, as women do, as we get older, we, why do we take or minimize that area of our life. Cause so many, I don't have time for that anymore. Even though they yeah. have more time. They just, yes. not, because I think what it is, is because it's just a result of blood flow is slowing down. It's not as, it's just not feeling the same way. So right. if, suppose you could, suppose yeah. you could feel that way. Wouldn't you want to? Yeah, and exactly. That, yeah. Can you, can you overnight that stuff to me? No. <laughs> We will take care of you. Wendy, we got you. I got you. <laughs> so speaking of, so I know you were saying like six treatments for the face per month or for that first month, which is the best, right? Okay. What about for the hoo-ha? I keep so, saying well, hoo-ha. Just I know. For the vulva. I know. You know what it vulva. is? You're so used yeah. to having another name for it. I was on a other <laughs> podcast. I was with a, it was actually a doctor in New York. And the the host said, what do you call this? And he he gave so many names. And I really just, I'm in the habit now of saying vulva and vagina just oh. because I want, it's the real word. Yeah. And I just want to to give it the kind of, you know, respect that it deserves. Yeah. And, yeah. and I said to him, I said, you know, I don't hear any men saying, you know, my my little pee pee when they get older. I mean, you know, <laughs> they, you know they, they're like... <laughs> You know, or even a dick yeah. song. Yeah. You know, this is my think, cock. Yes. <laughs> you know, yeah. So we need to get into our feminine energy. And really, you know, yeah. I think that I, so, but everyone is different. But anyway, yeah. so I think I forgot what even what I was going to say. Oh yeah. Well, um, oh yes. How many applications? Yes. Yeah. So, so in the, in the study, 10 mm -hmm. was 10 treatments over two weeks. So they did five, slept, the, kept the weekend off and then another five. Then to maintain that, they did a monthly treatment. So after you do the 10, it's like a loading dose. The yeah. loading dose is five to 10. We always encourage 10 because that's what the study says. But some women who may not have, who may not be, have the effects of, because you know what I, I say, I used to say some women in their 20s and 30s may not need 10, but I have been corrected by some women who are experiencing hormonal changes yep. or changes in their body that they require 10. So we always say it's five to 10 as a loading dose mm -hmm. and maintain it with a monthly treatment. And it's an easy treatment. Yeah. So you mix the packets when you get it, mm -hmm. you mix it big and a small, you mix it together, mix it thoroughly. Then you pull it up into a syringe, which is mm -hmm. to me the most difficult part because the gel is thick, but you just take it to your time, slowly put it in, insert, insert two thirds of the gel inside, mm -hmm. the last third on the vulva to the perineum. It can oh. even go to the anus for people who have like um, hemorrhoids and stuff like that. So, oh, interesting. Yeah. Wow. So it's, and, and, and all that area is sensitive too. So you're kind yep. of bringing the blood into that area. It makes it, it makes it feel good. The whole area should feel good. So mm -hmm. that's what that is. And then you just do a monthly treatment. And then when you do it, you insert it, you leave it on for 45 minutes or mm -hmm. over. So I like whenever I do my monthly, I just put it in, go to bed. When I wake up in the morning. Yep. You pee it out and you just put on a panty liner and you're good to go. Wow. You can have sex right away. Mm -hmm. Um, there's it's immediate, you know. And and if, for those women who are doing other procedures, for an instance, at a doctor's office, this mm -hmm. is a great way to bring back the 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 microbiome down there. It's a great way to bring so bringing back the pH, also to heal whatever whatever energy-based device that you used and to improve the results. Well, I would think too, especially after having children. I mean, it's, I mean, it's crazy to think like, well, for me, like at three, nine pound kids, I'm like, 
Yes. <laughs> I mean, I think it's boy. like the impact that is on your body, right? So some gynecologists actually you recommend women right after yeah. to put it on, right after they put it on the vulva because of all the, the swelling and, and, yeah. and so, but I know, you know, some women are doing it early in their pregnancy. They put, cause you want that area, that oxygen in that blood. That's what you want down there. That's what I was mm-hmm. this morning. I was, we're on our sales call and we're, they are talking about some experiences and one, two of them really kind of got me because I always talk about the sexual benefit. Mm-hmm. One of the experiences was about bad periods. Women who are still having their period who have bad period pain, sometimes by changing the, increasing the oxygen down there, it changes. So this, this particular individual was having very bad period pains where they would even projectile vomit. And just wow. by doing it in the course of three to five months has totally changed. That's not the case. Another mm-hmm. woman trying to get pregnant, in fact, she had two failed embryo transfers she after she did this started the CO2 for her painful period and ended up you no know, for eight years she was trying to get pregnant, ended up getting pregnant and now the baby's five months. So basically wow. what you're doing is you're just making uh, putting oxygen right there, you're taking care of that area. So it's not just always about you know the sexual benefit, which clearly there is, mm-hmm. just in feeling good in your that area of your body. It's like feeding it good food. Exactly. <laughs> good yes. oxygen, yes. Yeah. So yes, I'm really about, I always encourage women to think about that area of their lives. I mean, fortunately we have technology that helps you to do it. Yeah. Try it. See how it changes your life. Yeah. Even the last time I went to the dermatologist and there was like some type of, you know, poster up advertisement for the laser for, yes. for the vulva, for the vagina. And I was like, what is all this stuff, you know, but I would much rather do something like this. Yes. yes. And, you know, and we do have, you know, obviously doctors carry our product and they do a lot of the procedures. Mm. I always say to them, you know, even for women who opt to do labiaplasties or any kind of surgery down there, this is going to help you to heal better. It's going to help you to heal faster. Because remember, we talked about it can heal a non-healing diabetic ulcer in as little as eight days. Wow. So so we think it's healing faster, but it's also going to help with functionality. It's going to help with blood flow that those devices are great for bringing back the tissue in the vagina, but how in terms of ongoing blood flow and the health of that area, something else is needed. And this is, this fits the, this fits the description pretty well. Like you said earlier, like, why wouldn't you want to feel good down there, especially? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. This is great. I cannot wait. You guys, I promise I will share my results because this, this show will come out April 4th. So mm-hmm. whenever I get the product, I will definitely share with you guys. And I can't wait. Yes, it's this week. Yes. Yes. Oh. I'm going to be glowing. I'll be glowing, girl. I'm feeling good. <laughs> um, so, wh- so where can we find you and how can they also get the product? So I, I don't know, Wendy, in terms of a a discount. Okay. Mm-hmm. If you want, we can just do Wendy 10. Right? Okay. Wendy so 10. It would go to CO2lift.com mm-hmm. and um, type in at you know, the end code, discount code Wendy 10, and they mm-hmm. get 10% off. If you want to reach out to me, I love getting questions. My personal Instagram is the Lana Kerr, mm-hmm. but the CO2 lift, our team is great at responding. Always reach out with your questions there. And, uh, you know, I know that you're going to send a couple links to a book. We have one called The Secret to the Big O, which kind of goes into the anatomy and kind of goes into how you can ensure that you can get better orgasms and the, really the benefit of that. Mm. But that's kind of where I am. I love it. Thank you so much. You're such an amazing woman. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So much. You are a ball of just sunlight. Thank you so much. So nice to meet you today. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Have a beautiful day. Did this podcast inspire you, challenge you, trigger you to make a change or spit out your coffee laughing? Good. Then there are three ways you can thank me. Number one, you can leave a written review of this podcast on Apple iTunes. Number two, you can take a screenshot of the episode and share it on the social media and tag me, Wendy Valentine. Number three, share it with another midlifer that needs a makeover. You know who I'm talking about. Thank you so much for listening to the show. Get out there and be bold, be free, be you.